What's up, Smooth TV? So the people that are new to this channel, so I used to drive a Maxima. I used to have a crazy sound system in it, but unfortunately the car got totaled. So now I'm in a new car. I have this awesome station wagon right here, and I'm gonna be showing you guys step-by-step -step how to install your own amp and a subwoofer. So after hours of looking around the whole car, I looked everywhere. I've been looking, I've only had the car for like three, four days. I've been looking now for a couple days and it is just a tricky car, man. Like all under here and everything, it's just tough. But I finally found a spot where I'm gonna run the wire and everything. But I'll show you guys a couple of places I was looking. There's a hole in there. There was this, uh, where is it? there was a foam piece that was in there. It was like this. I took it out, tried to run a hanger through it. Where is that shit? Tried to run a hanger through that meta, a meta uh, hanger. And I wasn't getting anything throughout the top. Tried to run it through here. I was thinking about cutting a hole. Hold on. I don't know if you could see that right there. This comes off like this. But I was planning on cutting a hole right there and just running it up through here. But none of that worked. And fuck all that. Same shit on this side. Tried nothing. Tried to pull that out. Ain't getting nothing. So I finally looked on this side. I was like, oh, oh, same thing. Pulled this out. Thinking I was going to get it. Didn't get it. I finally, I'm looking under here. This, uh, let's put this back. Let's put this back. But I didn't see this. This was right in front of my face for a long time. <laughs> Been looking for hours. You, you can see up there. You don't see no holes. So I'm not looking at that. I didn't see that. That was out the way. But yeah, you just pull this out right here. And every car is going to be different. And this is outside. Let me take it off so you can see that it's actually outside though. You see, I have a flash off now. You can see the outside. That's what we need. And I'm running a thick wire and I was getting nervous because I thought I was going to have to run it through this hole, which wound up not even working. And I could run as thick as wire as I want. I mean, this is almost the size of my hand. You're getting any wire you want through that. But yeah, let's go. All right. So now I'm going to show you guys how to feed your wire through with your kit and everything that you should have gonna get everything set up back here Let's see. so you you should have one of these already if you're doing this if you're on this video right now you should have one of these this is what we need we need this and we need the hanger I have electrical tape whatever anything works And you wanna you wanna tape the end of this too because you don't want this any any loose strands this could cause shorts and all that so tape all that up just like that you don't want your wires touching the ground or any other metals anything like that Usually there's, you have other people helping you, but I'm doing this on my own. Uh, we're gonna just feed that through. Where it's gonna come out, but usually you have other people helping you, but I don't. So it is what it is. Alright, gotta get that shit through somewhere. I mean, let me go take a look on that other side. Yeah. This is all ran up, and we are going to. Moment of truth. Let's see if we see our wire. Yes, we do. There it is. We just pull that. 
Yes! We have music! Yes! Ta-da! Thank the Lord! Oh my God! Alright, after that's all through and everything and you get you all your length, you sh you're going to have this left over. So I'm about to pull a hole right in the center just because... Oh, check this out. Look at this. As you're driving and stuff, this is very sharp. So you, you don't want to... You'll catch a fire real quick in here. You know what I mean? You got to... This is jumping going like this. Base constantly. This will get a short. This, this is... It's pretty thick, but it's not that thick. This is some sharp stuff right here. This could cut you if you... Put your hand on it, go like, you know what I mean? This is sharp shit, so. You wanna get your grommet and put a hole in it. And then you wanna do the same thing on this. You don't have to do it on this. This is just gonna keep your car more insulated, so it's up to you. So I have my two grommets right here. You're just gonna feed them through this. Make sure you have it facing the right way so it's gonna push in like that. So that means you're pushing out like this as well. look something like that all right so i just want to show you guys something all right so under here only because i had to put this cat back so i might as well show you guys you could tell i had tried to get in there don't do that you know what i mean it's fine nothing's gonna happen but it wasn't going through and then i was gonna poke a hole through this through the grommet this grommet is thick i mean it's it could come out i pulled it out already but it's just it's not worth it none's going through so yeah and then there's underneath here you know what i mean you could put your hand down there and try to but nothing comes through so it's just unless you drill a hole that will work so if you don't want to go underneath there and you don't want to underneath where your uh driving area is for some whatever reason you could go on this side and drill a hole if you want or there's another grommet right here and this is for the Volvo V70. So yeah, 2008. And that just pops right back in. Yeah, but I'm gonna get some food in my system now that I finally found the fucking. So what I'm doing right now, I just twist it up. This wire that was on here, two wires. I put my positive to my white, which is on here, it's positive. And then black and white, which is negative, I hooked up to black. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the other side, which is also right here. So now I'm just going to splice this. Should have a wire like that. All right, so now I have this side and I'm going to get these connected. So let's pull this off this. And this is positive, the red is positive, so we're gonna put that to this positive gray, which is a solid color. Just like that. Now we're gonna get some tape. As best as you could, as tight as you could too. Cause you don't want it to go anywhere. All right, so usually every amp kit that you get, this one was my dad's old one. Is there any in there? Let's see, What's what was that gray wire for? Ah, fuck that. This is what we need. Remote wire. All right, now we're gonna connect the uh, remote wire to the remote wire. All right, so we now got the blue remote wire. I forgot to show my ground process because that took, it got into some, but, oh, what was that? Here is where I'm grounded, where this is the ground. 
this is where I'm grabbing. You see that? Right there. I just took that bolt off, attached that one, scrapped the paint off a little bit more, and yeah, it feeds there. I'm not keeping it like this right now. This is just how I'm running it for now. I have a longer cable actually right here, which I'm not planning on keeping this right here. I'm having it planning, setting it up and having it attached to there. This is just for now. I'm just All right, so now let's disengage the battery. All right, if I'm not mistaken, you always take off the negative first. Then we take off the positive. Then I'm gonna show you how to get a fuse installed in this. This is just here for now, but the inside, but I skipped around a little bit. I'm gonna let you guys know though, cause you can see it going on right here a little bit. But I don't know if you see this wire right here. I'm gonna show you guys actually. So, inside of here, uh, it's, it's hard to see. But basically, you could see these wires right here. These are not the speaker wires that I use, but there's more speaker wires in the same hole. You cut a slit in there, or if you have if you have T-terminals, you don't have to do that. I have them, so I was good, but you could cut a slit in there, attach any type of audio cable wire like this. You're tapped into your system now. Make sure you don't cut into the wire too far to where it breaks though. Nothing's gonna happen. You could attach it back, you're still gonna get signal on the actual thing. You're not gonna break your car, but that's where you tapped into both sides. You could do one side, but that's you're not you're only gonna get a left channel. Then I don't know if you want that. So you have to do this on both sides. So I tapped in on both sides. Put that back. That just goes like that. Trim. I'll show you on the other side. Don't worry about that. You see? Same thing right here. I gotta still tuck this in and stuff and make it a neat job. This is actually not the cable. This is going to my console because this is a used car, so I don't have any power in the sockets up here. Unfortunately, all the power's in the back right there. So I ran up a cable, but this is the other one. This is something different. That's the speaker wire. Same thing on this side. You can see it better actually on this side. You see it? See, it's tapped in. Then you run that to the back. All right, I just got this disengaged and the positive is disengaged. About to disengage that, but I'm about to let you know. Do not lose this bolt. So put this somewhere safe for right now. We're gonna put it, let's see. Put it right here. All right, now we're gonna take this wire right here and we're gonna cut this. All right, now we wanna strip our wire. All right, now we're gonna open up our fuse. It comes with a little tool, an Allen key, you need an Allen key. You're gonna put this into there. Yeah. Make sure it's nice and tight and snug and it can't go nowhere. All right, now we're gonna strip this up. All right, so now you're gonna put on your fuse, just like that. This is what your fuse is gonna look like. So the fuse is all hooked up. I cut it a little too short when I was splitting it. So I'm gonna just tape that up. And honestly, now to think about it, I'm gonna do that for both sides just to be safe. And you're just gonna gently take the lighter and crimp that on. This is our power wire, our fuse. We're running that down in there. Yeah, looks good. All right, now we're gonna connect our ground to our amp and this is the amp we're running right now a 5000 watt mass class d power acoustics overdrive all right now we're going to connect our power wire we got to splice it again rca cables output converter here we go to white on white blue on red and this is the worst part about this be careful i didn't get it on video 
but when connecting this, this will spark, it will make, <laughs> your life will flash before your eyes, so. I had an extra wire, so what I'm gonna do right now is connect the remote wire. All right, I'm gonna take some of this gray wire right here, and I'm gonna cut it up and use that as my ground. All right, now we're gonna connect the ground to the ground. And don't forget, now you gotta connect these to your amp. All right, so this is how it currently looks in here. I'm about to go get the subwoofer from right here, put it in, and show you guys. That's what it looks like. Now let's get it connected. I just realized to thank God on this car because I just already put that there, but I didn't connect it. I could just go like this. And it's right here. So the speaker wire in car audio all the time, the silver wire is positive and the copper wire is negative. I eventually want to get speakers here and all that too. This looks nice.